Pisces. Thank you so much for watching Mama Faya Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Whatever strong Pisces placement you have, I'm going to pull for two energies. You may resonate with one side or the other. Um, and you may resonate with some of the reading or um, all of the reading or none of the reading. And if you don't resonate with any of this reading, come back next week to check for your next reading and also check uh the other placements in your chart all the readings for this week will be in a playlist um all right and if you'd like a personal reading with me you can check the description box below um my scheduling page is there where and soon my website will be up and um also you can check the description box below for the extended to this reading so in this reading i'm going to go over how everybody feels and any advice, and then in the extended, I'm going to go over uh, the outcome, what's going to happen, and any advice moving forward from that. Um, please like, share, subscribe. It really helps the channel grow, and thank you, thank you, thank you to those who already have. I really appreciate you guys, um, and I think that's about it. Oh, if you want 10% off some amazing CBD products, please check out the description box below. Your CBD store, Brookline, you go hook up on my girl. Uh, Cassandra and there are other amazing products in that description box below as well that you can check out all right here we go uh, dear father God mother earth spirit guides angels and ancestors please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering the sacred space so mo it be all right what's coming through for Pisces right now in love Pisces what's going on with you guys oh you don't want to talk huh What's going on? Come on, let's make it clear for Pisces. Here we go. That's more like it. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, so Pisces. You got to drop your shields a lot. You know, you may be a little uh, fearful of some of the messages you may be getting right now um, because you are a high priestess. Um, you are someone who is very, very intuitive. I mean, this is a Pisces card in most decks. Um, but you've got to learn to take care of what you need and you can't, you know, don't be afraid to take care of your needs is what I'm getting really strongly, especially if you're getting that you need to do something, um, intuitively, if you're getting an intuitive message about any moves you may need to make. And even if they're a little different than some of the moves you used to make before, um, you know, I do think spirit is inviting you to do things a little differently or to just really make sure that your happiness is intact, regardless of what you're doing. Whoa, I'm going to make this for your person. Whoa, your person is definitely happy with you. They've just got to be fearless and stand strong for what they believe in. Very, very attracted to you, Pisces. You make them extremely happy. What I do think is that they have a hard time saying that, um, you know, saying that you make them happy. Both of you have strong, strong, strong intuition. Um, this be fearless and stand strong really is standing out to me with this sun. You may be dealing with a Leo, um, but they are very, very, very attracted to you. Whoa, Queen of Wands. She keeps coming out. You may have some Aries in your chart, Pisces, and the Chariot. So no matter what, Pisces, as long as like your confidence is high, you're believing in yourself, you're feeling good about yourself, you're heading towards victory. And it looks like um, you're going to see a lot more progress probably during cancer season. So, you know, maybe try and ride out the wave of the rest of this Gemini season. It has been quite a doozy um, with all the retrogrades and everything else going on. Whoa, Page of Pentacles. So a lot of my, um, oh, and the lovers, Okay, so Pisces, it seems that, um, well, some of you may be pregnant, actually, um, and may be moving houses because of the new baby coming. Uh, congratulations, Mazel Tov. But some of you others, really, um, if, you're, if that's not your case, um, you really do love this person, but you're not telling them this. And, and you wish you could just start over. Like, there's an element of, like, just wanting to forget the past, and to, you know, just start over. Um, but you're not letting them know this. Um, it does seem that keeping your confidence high 
um, is important. Anything you've been through that where you've had to start over has only been to make you stronger. Whoa, this person has been hurt somehow in this Pisces. Um, they are still standing, though. Um, so there may have been a fight, or there may have been some kind of, um, you know, it just seems like this person has been beat down, which may be why they have a hard time expressing themselves. Yeah, King of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, what was I saying? And the Eight of Swords. Um, the King of Cups definitely has nothing but love for you, baby. But they, this one, especially with these cards, definitely struggles to tell you how they really feel. But they feel so lucky that they met you uh, with this Wheel of Fortune. It's almost like you give them reason to, to take, a, take a chance on love again, Pisces. But, the, but it is causing quite a bit of anxiety for them. Yeah, because they're used to being single. They haven't been in a relationship in a long time. I do think that this person has been super honest with you, Pisces, about it. But they're ready. I mean, it does look like they're ready for a change and they're ready for a whole new start with you. So even though the anxiety may be overwhelming... They still want to be with you. So this is awesome. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is excellent. Excellent. So um, if you're the pregnant one, this may be uh, your spouse or your partner um, who is very, very anxious about the birth or something like that, but very, very excited still. If this is a new love or an established love relationship, Pisces, um, you two are getting through some weird stuff and just wanting to work it out because the love is pure. Wow. So, Queen of Swords. You may have had to cut this person out a little bit, Pisces, in order for them to really get it. You know, relationships do have ups and downs and sometimes people aren't always on their best behavior or they'll say things that um, hurt us. And then it looks like there may have been some kind of fight between the two of you. Um, and you may have had to have some choice words with them or some harsher words with them. And you may have had to speak to them in a way that you're not used to, Pisces. Ooh, devil energy. And you know what I do like, though, is that you are actively cutting out the devil energy in this relationship. Like, it does look like you want to start over, that you don't want to let the... Um, negative energies come in between this because yeah you've already put a lot of work into this relationship it's not something that you want to lose and it looks like you're looking back at the past too for some of you and evaluating what you did differently or what you need to do differently with this one queen of pentacles yeah you've got to show the love you know and it does look like you have um very hard working, Pisces. You're very hard working. It does seem that there is something more about like you needing to take care of your needs, though. Yeah, because if you don't, it's going to lead to like disappointment. So do not let this person, you know, just completely come in and sweep up your whole life. You've got to like still keep your autonomy in the way, you know. Um, it does look like. You were so devoted to this person, and they may have disappointed you in some way. I think you took really good care of them. Yeah, King of Swords. Ooh, King of Swords to the Queen of Swords, though. That's a divine couple. Um, but that's the couple that, you know, fights with their swords. So it does seem like you may have gotten into a beef. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Um, it does seem like this turned this around for this person, though. I think maybe your sharper words, and if you notice, this King of Swords has his sword down, whereas the Queen has her sword up. So it does tell me that the, the King of this deck is more likely to let the person in. They feel so lucky they met you, and they just definitely don't want to let anything get in the way of this. Yeah, they may, you guys may already be married, or they may ask you to marry them. 
Um, it does look like this person is thinking all the way into the future with you. And, or, you know, yeah, or they're this, for them though, they, they have been single for so long or, or at least independent for so long that marriage and the idea of marriage really scares them. And this is really kind of karmic for them. They are struggling to, they really do think that they, they want to be with you forever. And, but what they fear is this like spirit of confusion, or maybe they even fear letting go of that bachelorette, bachelor lifestyle. And, you know, it's, that may be something that they're struggling with because it's, it really is a lifestyle, especially if you've lived it for a long time. It does take getting used to getting in relationship. Wow. Death reverse. So it does look like this person is resisting a little bit of the changes that are coming in that you may have brought into them. Um, it does seem as though But this person truly does just want to be with you. I am getting, and they feel so lucky they met you, Pisces. Um, eight of swords, damn. Both you guys are pretty trapped trapped in the heads. Queen of swords. So you're going to, what you're going to queen of swords is this trapped energy, this feeling of being trapped. You've got to use your head with this, Pisces. It's very important that you stay logical with this instead of overly emotional and for a Pisces that's high you know I do understand that so make sure you're using logic as much as you can the moon wow that's your card so it does seem that um if if you were to lose this person or if you did lose this person it's very very sad for you like you did not want to lose this person um and you've been holding back from them I mean, I do think that this person should come to you, especially if they kind of sabotaged it with their Eight of Swords energy. Um, yep. Yeah. Spirit's actually telling you to hold back and let this one come to you. So, yep, yeah, Seven of Wands. They got to fight for it. And it seems they got defensive. What this seems to me, Pisces is that this is like a little bit of a, like a spat, you know, kind of like a, um, like a spat that can be resolved. Like you guys are going to kiss and make up. Don't worry. Five of wands reversed. I like it. They're going to defend themselves. They want to fight for this relationship. They don't want to fight with you. They don't like this, this fight that happened with you. Um, they want to marry you if you're not married already. It's, you guys are just fine. You're going to get back together. And this is far from over. Yep. Ten of pentacles. It's like they can only picture being with you, Pisces. Wheel of fortune three times. Wow. So this is destiny. I mean, you, you. This is destiny. Destiny is called and it's, it's, you know, it's your turn. Ace of Wands. Just start over if there was a little fight, a little tiff. A little tiff ain't going to break you two up. All right. You got to work this out, Pisces, whatever this is with this person. Um, it, the, the advice though, really, for you, Pisces, is to hold back. I do think this person kind of owes you more of the apology. Um, I think that, you know, you did have some harsh words for them. This this fight or this tiff has caused, you know, some real hurt feelings here. Um, I do feel like, um, you know, it's up to you to let them back in, though. I, I, I don't think that this is something that, you know, you just start over, forgive and forget. Um, kiss and make up. Because you two were meant to be together. And, and you need to make this work out. Um, it's very, very sweet, Pisces. So whatever this is. Um, so I'm going to get into the outcome over on Riven. And, and see what exactly is going to happen between you two. But I can already see. Like there's definitely uh, the love is pure between the two of you. 
So you may have some Libra in your chart. You may have some Capricorn in your chart for sure. Strong, strong Capricorn energy. Strong Leo. Strong Gemini. Strong Cancer. But I think the Gemini and Cancer cards are speaking more to timing. And you may see a real turnaround in the communication once Mercury goes out of retrograde, which is around the 22nd. Um, on your person side, we've got the Wheel of Fortune like three times. That's Sagittari strong Sagittarius energy, um, strong Scorpio energy. So Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra. Um, so very good, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And please join me over on Ribbon. But if you're not, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching Mama Faya Tarot. Thank you to my subs. You guys are the best. Bye, babies.